beautiful do nothing now once we return we will share our experiences followed by any question that you have mm -hmm. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Can you pick up the auspicious moment? That is what we did today. When I'm chanting, you pick up that. Om. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And you live into that state. Bring your mind to the right hand, your mind to the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside. Let us share our experiences. How are you, my friend Sam? <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. Great. Um, so last Thursday, um, I mentioned, you know, everything seemed to be up here and I felt like it was growing. This one, after you said uh, to focus on the heart, I was definitely focused in here the whole time and I felt myself shrinking into the Shrink. center and lowering into the ground. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was seeing a lot of shapes and colors while while you were chanting and while while we were listening. And um, I was so, I think, uh, content that when you got to the end and you said, feel your right, feel your left, put your hands up. I did it in my head, but I wasn't actually doing it. I was just focused up here. I was just like, oh, they're up on my face. Oh, no, they're not. Let me, let me move my body now. Oh, yeah. that's a deeper, deeper state. That's yeah. a deeper. Continue the practice regularly. We have to reach to that highest state. So just for just for a comment that all these experiences, from where they come, what is that state? Is there a challenge in these experiences or not? So I'm not saying anything of this as we grow progress further, we will understand that what is that meditative state from where this experience comes. How are you, Lara? I am well. Um, I had a, the chanting, I had a really interesting experience. It was actually my eyes would not stop watering. Um, while that was going on. So there was definitely some emotion or something moving through is what I'm connecting with. Um, I did have an experience. There was, uh, I have a sort of a, a non, non big deal issue, but I, it must be bothering me. And so it came up really quickly, like while we were doing that, like really loud in my face. And I was like, okay, I gotta like, I gotta look at this differently and then not deal with it. Cause this is not me and um you know what that is and so and then when we got to the body it was interesting because every time you went to mention the body i would lose that part of the body i didn't feel anything um i felt it in before because then i was like well, wait a second am i feeling my my right arm i was like oh they're wet <laughs> and then the left arm i was like i'm feeling the left arm and then when you went the left arm the left arm went so that was sort of interesting to kind of lose that yeah, yeah. Peace. So losing that obviously means the mind is going deeper and deeper. 
Yes, yes, we have to continue. How are you, David and Jerry? Um, very good uh, experience for me. The um, the uh, cylinder um, outside of the limbs. Usually, I'm looking from the inside out at this cylinder, um, and this time I was I was removed from my body, looking at those cylinders, and, and the feeling of it was was totally different, um, which was really interesting. So, uh, and then the um, the uh, dropping the the ohm from the, the the top of the head to the heart, um, I just went into like deep dark space. Hmm. Beautiful. That's good. And uh, how are you, Jerry? Well, sir, I the mantra stayed with me for the entire meditation. So that was interesting. I didn't drop the mantra, even though I beautiful was, followed you, but yet I the mantra stayed with me. So I and I kept doing the mantra to the very end. Like yeah, so, yeah, that is really good. That was and interesting. You see that even don't leave the mantra here and now when we are sharing our experiences. That too would be something extraordinary. So that is why this mantra has been discovered. So what is going to happen after some time, even mentally, you leave the mantra in a word format, but still you remember them in the knowledge. Do you see what I'm saying? That may happen. How are you, Terry? Okay. Um... I, I don't know how to say what I was what I was experiencing, but right at the end, I had. I remember that you said <clears throat> that a movement is a th no a word is a thought, and uh, I felt like a mo my movements were also thoughts. Yeah. And the, and I so I just uh, treated them the same as other thoughts. Uh, you see, Terry thinks a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but you see how she found out the world is also a movement. Definitely it is a movement. I, I wanted to take up that. Maybe I'll take up the next week. World is also a movement. We have to see what is behind the movement. Om Shanti. It is a word. But I see that piece there. That is one of the main purpose of mantra, Lara. Yes. So, Stephen. Um, it was... Um uh, a very interesting meditation from different experiences than things I've had before. Um, fr from the start, as soon as we settled in and settled the body, um, I felt uh, this, I, I was really focused in on that, on that, uh, that spot, you know, getting to that, that one spot inside the heart. And I just felt, um, from the time I started the meditation, I was in the back of my head and then immediately dropped into that single spot in my heart. And I felt like I was tumbling into it, but in complete control. And then I settled there. Settled um, there. Yep. And, and I was there the entire time through the mantra, um, that whole, uh, whole singing of the mantra just created what I thought was chills in my body that I thought I was having a temperature change. It really wasn't. I just felt the, the prana just prana. flowing up, up and down through my body that it was, it was like you know, one of those rides at the carnival that swings back and forth. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, felt yeah. this, it going above my head and then right down past my toes and then back up again. And I was like, okay, just, just let this all happen. 
um, which I did, which I did. And um, it was, it was just that whole way throughout. And then the cylinders around um, the, the body parts actually did turn into chills to where I felt my body temperature drop and get really cold. Yes. Um, and, and, and then came back out. So it was, it was, it was great. Beautiful. You, Everyone is progressing and you are progressing very well into this journey. Uh, as I said that we will talk about these experiences. These experiences points out that where we are in a meditation. But until that mind has to drop that ego sense completely, then only we can talk about these experiences with reference to the different stages of meditation. You know, that will make a sense. That is how this teaching goes. Beautiful. How are you, Sergey? We have... Mm, we're calm. We're deep. I briefly can remember what's going on. I remember mantras uh, and, like, it's not a lot I can say. I'm just going deeper, deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and deeper, and then coming back at the very end. Beautiful. That too is a, you are aware of that. That is a good experience. Now, did you pick up the uh, one of the most important takeaways? Yeah, that is okay. Buddha says nothingness. Patanjali says I'm the witness of nothingness. And ultimately, you know, uh, that wave is nothingness and i am an ocean so what a difference it makes that is one takeaway the second takeaway did you do you remember from well-being merges into peace well-being and peace merges into wholeness and all the three merges into an auspicious moment and what is that auspicious moment here and now every moment every activity in your life Are you getting it? So whether you are with me or you are not with me, whether you are with a honey, your friend or your enemy, huh? anywhere, every moment, whether you are in a sleep, sleeping, in a waking state, can I live into that waking state of 